In this video, I will explain to you the XOR operator. The XOR operator is a Boolean algebra operator, and it stands for exclusive OR. Exclusive OR. And its symbol looks like this. It's just a circle with a plus sign in the middle. And what the XOR operator does is it will return true if and only if exactly one of your input values is true. For example, in Boolean algebra, we use true and false. So if you XOR true with another true, what do you think that will return? Well, based on what I just said, this will return false. Because I said that the XOR operator will return true if and only if exactly one of your input values is true. And here, both of our input values are true, so it will return false. Now, what if we have a false and we XOR that with another false? What do you think that will return? Well, it will return false because both of our input values are false. What if we have a true and we XOR that with a false? Now what do you think that will return? It will return true because exactly one of our input values is true. And likewise, if we have a false and we XOR that with a true, that will also return true because exactly one of our input values is true. Now, in cryptography, instead of dealing with true and false, we deal with binary numbers 0 and 1. So you can think of 0 as being false and 1 as true. And we do the exact same thing with zeros and 1s as we just did with true and false. So let me give you a number 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And what if you XOR that with 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0? What will we get? Let's do this together. So 1 XOR with a 0 will give you a 1, right? Because exactly one of our input values is true. If we XOR a 0 with a 1, again, we will get a 1 because exactly one of our input values is true. Now if we XOR a 1 with a 1, we'll get a 0 because both of our input values are true. If we XOR a 0 with a 1, we get a 1. If we XOR 0 with a 0, we get a 0. If we XOR a 1 with a 0, we get a 1. Let's try another example. Let's try 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. And XOR that with a 1, 0, 0, 
one zero one. Okay. If we XOR one with a one, we get a zero. One XOR with zero is one. Zero XOR with zero is a zero. A one XOR with one is a zero. A one XOR with zero is a one. And a zero XOR with one is a one. Now, what is the significance of XORing something? Why would we want to XOR something? And how, how would we use that in cryptography? Well, let me show you something really cool. So, let's say I XORed this number with this number and I got this result. And I XORed this result again with this number. Let's see what we get. So I'm just going to write this number again down here. 100101. Zero, zero, one, zero, one. And we'll XOR it. So 0 XOR with 1 is 1. 1 XOR with 0 is 1. 0 XOR with 0 is 0. 0 XOR with 1 is 1. 1 x word with 0 is 1, and 1 x word with 1 is 0. Look what we got here. This number is the same as the number we started with. So x or, if you x or a number with another number, and you take that result and you x word again, with this number, you will end up with your original number. So XOR reverses itself. You can think of it as a toggle. If you XOR something and then you XOR again, you will reverse the original XOR.